as Lisa uh, was uh, preaching just now, I l she mentioned something about blue. Um, what was it again? And I looked at you. I can't remember. Um, I already <laughs> forgot. I knew exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> um, but it was something she said, and I looked at blue, and I said, he doesn't know you. It was about his name being blue. And that brought me... Um, Blue's real name is not Blue, it's Nicholas. Uh, just like my real name is not Day. Um, and you sort of get caught up by these nicknames and so people know you by different things. But the moral of the story is me and Blue, we've known each other ever since seventh grade. And we were in choir together and Blue sang bass and I was a tenor. And now that has changed. Well, we sing the same part now. but. Um, and we had art class together, and that was the first class that me and Blue had where we sat near each other. We, we did that on purpose. Uh, we formed a group and sat at that table. And uh, the whole time we would be in art class, painting or drawing, and we both didn't want to be there. We wanted to be somewhere else. Um, but Blue would hum, like Lisa said. And earlier today, uh, you know, he kept saying, Lisa, you know, she said something about humming, and I was like, he was like, but I don't hum. <laughs> I said, but you do hum. So those, you know, and again, that's a great way to spread the gospel. Um, but a lot of us realize that we don't do things that we do do. A lot of us don't realize it, but we hum. I, I look at you every week, and even though your mouth is not going with the words, but you're humming. Um, and so that is, again, a reminder that sometimes it's great to take the time throughout the day. This quarantine has taught me to, to just take a break sometimes, uh, especially when we were in school, looking at a computer screen from 8 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock at night. You know, we've all been there. We've all done it. Uh, but it, it, I learned that God was sending messages whenever, you know, I would get a text like, oh, do you know what the hymn is going to be from this one sitting at the piano? Or do you know what this is? Because then I'm constantly humming the songs that he is putting in our heads. So just remember, as you go throughout your journey, you can strengthen your soil by humming. Um, as we all know, our great ancestors and some of your great ancestors, too, spent many hours in these fields humming the songs that we now sing. So there's no problem for us not to be able to hum. So throughout the week, take the time and find your favorite hymn or your favorite song and hum it. Because then you're finding your way of, re you know, reflecting on your life and your journey and the soil that he has, he has, you know, nurtured for you and that he continues to nurture. So find that song and hum. So I'm giving orders now. I said, y'all stand up. <laughs> Victory, oh victory in Jesus, 